Hi, I'm Mike Rivers from Upanor Plumbing. We're going to show you how to properly solder a lead-free Propex fitting. Our fittings are identified as lead-free by the NSF PWG marking on the collar of the fitting. The tools we will need, uh, we need proper flux. So we highly recommend a tinning flux that allows the flux to pre-tin the surface uh, before the solder adheres to both the copper and the brass surfaces. Uh, as far as solder goes, either a 95.5 or a lead-free silver solder will work. Plumber's cloth to clean the pipe and wire brushes to clean the fitting. But we'll start by cleaning the pipe. This is a one inch copper pipe. What we're trying to do here is just make the surface as homogeneous as possible. Next, uh, we'll take our Propex fitting with a wire brush. And I'm just gonna clean the inside of the fitting. We will then take our tinning flux and apply a liberal amount of flux to both the pipe and the inside of the fitting. Start with the pipe. Make sure to get the entire surface area on the inside of that fitting as well as the outside. So once they're both cleaned and fluxed, we can put them together. Make sure it's seated all the way. We can then begin to solder the connection. So Upanor recommends you have at least 18 inches of water line um, between the Propex connection and the solder joint. Best practice is to solder the connections before making a Propex connection so that the heat doesn't transfer to the pegs. What I want to do is apply even heat around the fitting and I want to keep the tip of that blue, the inside blue of that torch, on the actual connection. So I'm gonna put it on the, about in the middle of the brass here. The brass is gonna take longer to heat up than the copper. I just wanna apply, try to apply as even as heat as possible around that connection. You can see that the tinning flux turned silver. That is a characteristic of the tinning flux. That means the surfaces are pre-tinned. So it's probably getting to the point where it'll start to take some solder. Okay, so you can see there the starter is starting to flow. I want to make sure I get completely around with the solder. And the heat off. Best practice is to wipe that drip from the bottom there. And that would be a completed sweat connection for the Proprex lead-free brass. Okay, once this joint is properly cooled, we can now perform our Propex connection. Take a piece of one inch PEX-A pipe with the PEX-A ring. Insert the expanded pipe and ring onto the fitting, and that would be a complete Propex by sweat lead-free connection. 